Investment banking interviews are notorious for their difficulty. Because investment banking is a high-stakes business, firms need to be certain that new employees have a strong understanding of finance and are capable of working well in teams under high-stress conditions. Let's take you through some of the questions that you'll likely be asked in an interview for an analyst or associate position at an investment bank. David, good afternoon. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Have a seat. Thank you. So, tell me about a time when you were instrumental in helping a group reach consensus on an issue or a plan. With questions like this, the interviewer is looking to see how you work in a team situation. Can you make proposals that help your team find a solution? Here's a good way to answer this question. I hold a position in student government in my college, and this year there is a major conflict between two groups on how to distribute the school's budget. We have a concert series that typically draws a large portion of the school's budget, and this particular year we also had additional groups join. And we were worried that these new coming groups wouldn't be able to be funded. So I took it upon myself to sit down with the concert committee, and we arranged for them to hold a concert that would benefit these new groups. It turned out to be a great success, and we got the funding we needed for these additional groups. Great. Now I want you to tell me about a time where you failed at something, and tell me what you learned from that experience. To be perfectly honest, I'm not too experienced in failure. Everything I've done to this point has been pretty successful, and I think that's a quality you'd be looking for at your firm. Okay, that's not the right answer. Though investment banks certainly have high expectations of their employees' talents, they also want people who can learn from setbacks, which are inevitable in the roller coaster world of investment banking. Try to come up with an experience in which you used a setback as a way to improve yourself in a significant way. I was heavily involved in the debate club in high school. It was something that came easy to me. And in fact, my first year I won all my competitions and I reached the regional finals. Unfortunately, I got a bit cocky. And when I reached the finals, I was paired against someone who was much better than anyone else I had faced. And to be perfectly honest, he beat me pretty soundly. This taught me that I had to work a lot harder in my preparation for my debates, and it also taught me that I can't sit back on my laurels because the competition will eventually catch up with you. What impact do you think the continual rise in the price of oil is going to have on the global markets? The point of this question is to see how much awareness the interviewee has of current trends in the world economy and how good they are at anticipating the effects these trends will have on future deals. Since the main effect of rising oil prices is to raise prices across the board, this might have a negative effect on growth and thus cut into investment banking business. However, the rising price of oil might also lead to investment in other areas like alternative energy production, and this will lead to other avenues of both investment and growth. Tell me something, David. Why do you want to work in investment banking? Well. I want to make a lot of money, and investment banking is the easiest way to do it. This is not the best way to answer this question. Investment banks want to know that their employees have something more than a desire for big paychecks. They want their employees to have a passion for what they do, and for what investment banking stands for. I want to get into investment banking because I love the energy and potential of working in high stakes problems where millions of dollars are at stake. I also like the idea that my work can help companies with their long-term goals and success. Now, the work that we do in investment banking can sometimes be incredibly intricate, very complex, and we require a tremendous amount of effort on the part of our employees. Do you think that you can work up to 90 hours a week, every week for the next few years? No problem. I relish the opportunity. This is the right answer. You will be putting in a lot of hours as an iBanker, but elaborate your response so you don't seem unaware of what you're getting into. I'm definitely up to it. It's really not that much different from what I've been doing since high school. When you add up all the hours of class, homework, volunteering, internships, and jobs that I've held while in school, it's pretty similar. At the same time, I like the idea that what I'll be doing, I'm passionate about, and so the hours aren't a problem for me. Okay, great. And finally, do you have any questions for us about our company? Use this as an opportunity to show the depth of your knowledge about the particular institution to which you're applying. More importantly, use specific details in your response. I was wondering if analysts get to choose their specialty or if the firm decides on placement. I ask you this because I have a particular interest in emerging technologies and understand that your firm is quite reputable in that area. Additionally, I respect the vice president in that division and would love to work on one of his teams. Okay, good question. 
These are the kinds of questions you'll be asked at an investment banking interview for an analyst or associate position. Of course, there will be many more questions, and you'll run through a series of different interviewers as well. But if you can do well on the questions we've just gone through here, you should be able to do very well in your investment banking interview. For more information, check out the Vault Guide to Finance Interviews.